हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू लाइक माई वीडियोज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इंटरनेशनल मैथमेटिक्स ओलम्पियाड आई एम ओ क्लास थ्री क्वेश्चन पेपर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी दिस इज द मार्किंग स्कीम एंड सिलेबस गिवेन बाई इंटरनेशनल मैथमेटिक्स ओलम्पियाड फॉर ग्रेड थ्री लॉजिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड द ऑड वन आउट इन ऑप्शन ए दिस इज पी क्यू इन इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट P plus one Q. Next letter to P is Q. Similarly, D plus one E. But in English alphabet, T plus one U. L plus two equal to N. M is between L and N. So option D is odd one out. Question number two. Select a figure from the options which will complete the given figure pattern. Looking towards the pattern, this portion of the circle is not colored. Here also, it is not colored. This bar is colored. It is also colored. This portion is colored, so this portion also colored. Both triangles followed the same rule. So, looking towards this triangle, all three portions are colored. Following this pattern. Option C is correct. Here all three portions are colored. Option A, B, D cancelled. Question number three: How many triangles are there in the given figure? In this figure, triangles are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So option B is correct. Question number four: How many possible combinations of one wristwatch and one wall clock can be formed from the given watches and wall clocks? Both question number three and four are frequently coming in International Mathematics Olympiad. How to solve this question? Combinations we have to form one wristwatch and one wall clock. We have to make combinations. Let it wrist watch one, and this is wall clock one. So wrist watch one, wall clock one, both are one combination. Similarly, wrist watch one, wall clock two, both are another combination. In this way, wrist watch one, wall clock three, also another combination. Whenever it is asked one and one from each items, possible combinations will form three into four equal to twelve. Here three wall clocks and four wrist watches. So multiplying both quantities, we get three into four twelve. Option D is correct. Twelve. Question number five. There is a certain relationship between the pair of figures on the either side of proportion. Identify the relationship between the given pair and find the missing figure. This is F. Alphabet order of F is six. Six into two equal to twelve. Six into two equal to twelve. Following similar pattern. This is I. Alphabet order of I is nine. So nine into two equal to eighteen. Option C is correct. Eighteen. Question number six: Which of the following words can be formed from the letters of the given word? The word is given statement. In this word, in option A, letter O; in option C, letter I; in option D, letter P, is not present in the word statement. Option B is correct. T is T E. A S E. Question number seven. In which group does the number thirty not belong? In option A, five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. All are multiples of five. Also, thirty is multiples of five. Five six ja thirty. So thirty belongs option A. Similarly, these numbers are multiples of three. Thirty also multiples of three. Three ten ja thirty. Similarly, these are multiples of six. Six five ja thirty. 
इन ऑप्शन डी दीज आर मल्टीपुल्स ऑफ फोर बट थर्टी इज नॉट मल्टीपुल्स ऑफ फोर सो ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट थर्टी डज नॉट बिलोंग इन दिस ग्रुप क्वेश्चन नंबर एट हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फिगर्स विल रिप्लेस द क्वेश्चन मार्क इन द गिवेन फिगर मैट्रिक्स हियर इज थ्री सर्कल्स थ्री प्लस टू फाइव हियर फाइव ट्राएंगल्स सिमिलरली फाइव प्लस टू सेवेन हियर सेवेन डायमंड्स फॉलोइंग सिमिलर पैटर्न हियर थ्री हाफ सर्कल्स सो थ्री प्लस टू फाइव हियर फाइव स्टार्स सो यू नीड फाइव प्लस टू सेवेन हियर मस्ट बी सेवेन फिगर्स इन ऑप्शन डी देर आर सेवेन स्क्वेर्स सो ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन If yesterday was Friday, then six day from today will be dash. It is given yesterday was Friday, so today is Saturday. So today is day one. Continuing from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday will come sixth day from today. Option A is correct. Question number ten. Find the mirror image of the given figure. This is the given figure, and this is the mirror which is faced vertically. Image of this figure will form here. So regarding word U, this is U. Option D is correct. A, B, C cancelled. Here Y is inverted, which is wrong. Here U is inverted, which is wrong. Here U and Y both are inverted, which is wrong. So option D is correct. Mathematical reasoning. Question number eleven. Which of the following number names does not belong to the given figure? Option A. Two hundred ninety nine. This is two hundred ninety nine. Option B. Seven hundred sixty five. This is seven hundred sixty five. Option C. One hundred two. This is One hundred two. Option D, five hundred ninety-seven. Here is not five hundred ninety-seven. So option D is correct. Question number twelve. If one book represents four books, then which of the following represents eighteen books? Eighteen divided by four equal to four as quotient, two as remainder. So the answer is four plus two by four. Dividing numerator and denominator by two, we get one by two, four and half. Option D is correct, four and half. Question number thirteen: The value of difference of both the numbers are represented through abacus. In abacus, these are places and these are digits. So first one is three thousand four hundred thirty-six. Three thousand four hundred thirty-six. This is two thousand five hundred twenty-three. Two thousand five hundred twenty-three. Subtracting two thousand five hundred twenty-three from three thousand four hundred thirty-six, we get nine hundred thirteen. Nine hundred thirteen is same as nine hundred thirteen ones. So option D is correct. Question number fourteen. If one square equal to two units, then stapler is Dash unit longer than the pencil. One square equal to two units. Length of pencil is five squares. So five squares equal to two into five, ten units. Similarly, length of stapler seven squares. Seven squares equal to two into seven, that is fourteen units. So stapler is fourteen units. Stapler has greater length. Difference between both. Fourteen minus ten equal to four units. Option C is correct. Four units. Stapler is four units longer than pencil. Question number fifteen. Weight of two such toy horses is dash the weight of one laptop. Weight of one horse toy two hundred gram. Weight of two horse toy two hundred into two equal to four hundred gram. But weight of one laptop equal to Four hundred fifty gram. Needle is between four hundred and five hundred. So this is four hundred fifty gram. Clearly, four hundred gram is less than 
फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम सो वेट ऑफ टू सच टॉय हॉर्सेस इज लेस दैन द वेट ऑफ वन लैपटॉप हियर ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट लेस दैन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन हिमांशी हैज टू फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज नोट्स हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आइटम्स कैन सी बाय इफ सी स्पेंड्स ऑल हर मनी कॉस्ट ऑफ द आइटम्स टॉय टाइगर थ्री हंड्रेड नाइंटी फाइव रुपीज स्पिनिंग बेल सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन रुपीज वियोलिन सिक्स हंड्रेड फाइव रुपीज टू फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू टू इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड रुपीज हिमांशी हैज वन थाउजेंड रुपीज क्लियरली कॉस्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इंडिविजुअल टॉयज आर लेस दैन वन थाउजेंड सी कैन बाय एनी वन फ्रॉम दिस बट इन ऑप्शन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू टॉयज गिवेन टॉय टाइगर एंड स्पिनिंग बेल कॉस्ट ऑफ बोथ टॉय टाइगर थ्री हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फाइव रुपीज स्पिनिंग बेल सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन रुपीज सम ऑफ बोथ वन थाउजेंड टेन रुपीज हुई इज ग्रेटर दैन वन थाउजेंड रुपीज सो सी कैन नॉट बाय बोथ ऑप्शन ए इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन बी टॉय टाइगर एंड वायोलिन टॉय टाइगर इज थ्री हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फाइव रुपीज वायोलिन इज सिक्स हंड्रेड फाइव रुपीज सम ऑफ देयर कॉस्ट वन थाउजेंड रुपीज हिमांशी हैज वन थाउजेंड रुपीज हेन सी कैन बाय बोथ ऑफ द टॉयज ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन सी स्पिनिंग बेल एंड वायोलिन सम ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ बोथ वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी हुई इज ग्रेटर दैन वन थाउजेंड सो सी कैन नॉट बाय इट ऑल्सो सी कैन नॉट बाय ऑल ऑफ थ्री ऑप्शन डी इज रॉन्ग ओनली ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट सी कैन बाय टॉय टाइगर एंड वायोलिन हुई इज एग्जैक्टली वन थाउजेंड रुपीज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन ए कॉन्सर्ट स्टार्टेड एट ट्वेंटी फोर्टी फाइव इट लास्ट फॉर टू आवर्स ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनिट्स At what time did it finish? Started at ट्वेंटी फोर्टी फाइव एंड इट लास्ट फॉर टू आवर्स ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनिट्स आडिंग टू आवर्स ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनिट्स टू ट्वेंटी फोर्टी फाइव ट्वेंटी आवर्स प्लस टू आवर्स इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू आवर्स फोर्टी फाइव मिनिट्स प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनिट्स इक्वल टू सेवेंटी मिनिट्स हुई इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी प्लस टेन मिनिट्स Splitting सेवेंटी minutes, सिक्सटी minutes equal to वन hour. So adding वन hour to ट्वेंटी टू hours, it is ट्वेंटी थ्री hours. Again टेन minutes remain, this is टेन minutes. So time रीच at ट्वेंटी थ्री टेन Here in clock, one complete rotation of our hand is ट्वेल्व hours. So subtracting ट्वेल्व hours from ट्वेंटी थ्री टेन वी गेट इलेवेन टेन After complete one rotation, our hand reached at eleven ten. This is eleven ten. So option A is correct. Correct option is A. Question number eighteen. Find the total length of boundary of the given figure. Looking towards the given figure, the figure is constructed with straight lines. Also, length of all straight lines are given. So adding all these. Two centimeter length of straight lines five, so five to ja ten. One into three, three. This is three centimeter. Five to ja ten. This is eight centimeter. Counting all, we get thirty four centimeter. Hence option B is correct. Thirty four centimeter. Procedure of this calculation only for quick solution. Question number nineteen. If the digit at tens place is interchanged with the digit at thousands place in the given number, then what is the difference between the new numbers formed and the given number? This is the given number. Nine is in thousands place and seven is in tens place. This is a four-digit number. Interchanging nine and seven, we get seven thousand three hundred ninety-six. Clearly, this is greater number. So their difference, subtracting seven thousand three hundred ninety-six from nine thousand three hundred seventy-six, we get one thousand nine hundred eighty. Option C is correct. Question number twenty: If this triangle equal to one hole, then these triangles equal to dots. Here, in both triangles, each triangle is divided into two equal halves. Out of two halves. 
all are colored one complete whole is colored so this is one but here out of two halves only one half is colored so this is one by two one plus one by two can be written as one one by two option a is correct this is one complete triangle and this is half of the triangle which is colored everyday mathematics question number 21 Ria has 8 clay balls and 12 toothpicks. She make a safe having 6 faces. Which of the following shapes she made? Looking towards the options. Option B is correct because it is a cube. Cube has 6 faces, 12 edges, 8 vertices. Clay balls are used as vertices. And toothpicks are used as edges. Question number 22. There are 9,785 people in a party. Out of these, 3,245 are males. 1,878 are females. And rest are children. How many children are there in the party? Total number of people, 9,785. Number of males, 3,245. And number of females, 1,878 Adding number of male and females, we get 5,123 So subtracting number of males and females from total number of people, we get 4,662 Option A is correct, 4,662 Question number 23 Garvith drinks given glasses of water every day How many glasses of water Will he drink in 3 weeks? 1 week equal to 7 days. 3 weeks equal to 3 into 7. That is equal to 21 days. Counting number of glasses. These are 12 glasses. So in 1 day he drinks 12 glasses. In 21 days he drinks 12 into 21. 252 glasses. Option C is correct. 252 glasses. Question number 24. Nidhi buys two packets of flour as shown. If she uses two kilograms, 875 gram of flour to bake a cake, then how much flour is left with her? One bag of flour equal to three kilogram, 50 gram. Three kilogram, 50 gram equal to 3050 gram. Multiplying three into 1000 equal to 3000 gram plus 50 gram, which is equal to 3050 gram. Because 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram. So 1 bag equal to 3050 gram. 2 bags equal to multiplying 3050 into 2, we get 6100 gram. So total quantity of flour, she has 6100 gram. Flour used to bake a cake, 2875 gram. Which is equal to 2 kilogram, 875 gram. Subtracting flour used for cake from total quantity of flour, we get 3,225 gram. 3,225 gram equal to 3 kilogram, 225 gram. Simply, this is four digit number. The digit used in thousands place is kilogram and hundreds, tens, ones place, these are gram. Option D is correct, 3 kilogram, 225 gram. Question number 25. A cake was divided into 12 equal parts. Kritika ate 3 by 12 of the cake and Arun ate 5 by 12 of the cake. What fraction of the cake was left? If one cake is considered as one whole, then it is divided into 12 equal parts. Out of this, Kritika ate 3 by 12 parts and Arun ate 5 by 12 parts. Fraction of the cake left 1 minus 3 by 12 plus 5 by 12 which is eaten by both Kritika and Arun and this is one whole. Both are same denominator 5 plus 3 equal to 8 by 12. 1 minus 8 by 12 equal to 4 by 12. Option B is correct. 4 by 12 parts of the cake was left. Question number 26. Konika has 75 cookies. If she put them equally in the given boxes, then how many cookies are left with her? Counting number of boxes, 
there are nine boxes total number of cookies 75 number of boxes 9 dividing 75 by 9 we get 8 as a quotient and 3 as a remainder so 3 cookies will be left option a is correct question number 27 Amon bought 5 shirts at 899 rupees each how much amount did he pay in all cost of one shirt equal to 899 rupees cost of 5 shirts multiplying 899 with 5 we get 4495 rupees so option b is correct 4495 rupees cost of 5 such shirts question number 28 monica puts exactly 4 stones in each of the vessels shown how many stones she has used in all counting number of vessels 12 and she put 4 stones in each vessel so total number of stones she has to put 12 into 4 equal to 48 option d is correct question number 29 on monday 2476 cars crossed the toll on tuesday 3298 cars crossed the toll and 1947 cars crossed the toll on wednesday how many total cars crossed the toll in these three days adding number of cars crossed the toll on these three days equal to 7721 option b is correct question number 30 the temperature in singapore is 18 degrees celsius less than the temperature shown in the given thermometer find the temperature in singapore temperature shown in the thermometer 35 degrees celsius temperature of singapore is 18 degree less than the temperature shown in thermometer this is 35 degree celsius subtracting 18 degree celsius we get 17 degree celsius option b is correct 17 degree celsius which is temperature in singapore achiever section question number 31 Find the value of P, Q and R respectively. This is a multiplication. 3 into Q, 1 will come in 1's digit of multiplying 3 into Q. Multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 27, 21, etc. Q is 7. 3, 7, 21. This is 1 except 7 any other digit cannot come here another clue p into 1 equal to 4 we know that any number multiplied with 1 result is the number itself hence p equal to 4 checking the option p equal to 4 and q equal to 7 option c is correct a b d cancelled let us complete the question 1 plus 0 equal to r r equal to 1 question number 32 niharika bought two bunches of bananas three boxes of cookies and four baskets of strawberries what is the total weight of the items she bought one bunches of banana 975 gram hence two bunches of bananas equal to 2 into 975 equal to 1950 gram one boxes of cookies one kilogram 75 gram so three boxes of cookies equal to three into 1075 gram one kilogram equal to 1000 gram so 1000 plus 75 equal to 1075 gram multiplying with three we get 3225 gram one basket of strawberries equal to 1 kilogram 25 gram 4 baskets of strawberries equal to 1 kilogram 25 gram into 4 equal to 1025 into 4 equal to 4100 gram we have to convert 1 kilogram 25 gram into grams that is 1025 gram total weight of all three strawberry bananas and cookies equal to 1950 gram plus 3225 gram plus 4100 grams 
equal to 9275 gram same as 9 kilogram 275 gram simply the digit in thousands place is kilogram or we can divide by 1000 we get 9 as quotient and 275 as remainder that is 9 kilogram 275 gram question number 33 identify the number using the given clues out of four statements we will start from here the digit at hundreds place is the remainder obtained when 56 is divided by 7 Seven eight ja fifty six. So remainder is zero. Option A, C, D correct. B cancelled. Fourth statement is another important statement. The digit at tens place is thrice the digit at hundreds place. In option A, nine is three times of three. A, C correct. D cancelled. looking towards first statement it is an even number this is even number but option c 3095 is not even so it is cancelled option a is correct in olympiad we get one hour only in this type of question we have to find out from which clue we have to proceed in this question statement 3 or 4 we have to start here taking second statement Digit at tens place is largest odd number. Yes, nine is largest odd number. Question number thirty-four. The given graph shows the number of pages read by five boys on a particular day. Study the graph carefully and answer the following questions. A. How many less pages Manav read than Nakul and Dev together read? Nakul read sixteen pages. Dev reads twenty-four pages. So both read twenty four plus sixteen equal to forty pages, but Manav read twelve pages. Subtracting twelve from forty, we get twenty eight. Manav read twenty eight pages less than Nakul and Dev together. Option C and D correct. A and B cancelled. B Ayush and Dash read twenty eight pages together. Ayush read eight pages. So twenty eight minus eight equal to twenty pages. This is twenty. So R of reads twenty pages. Option D is correct. C cancelled. Question number thirty five. Four girls, Alia, Palak, Divya, and Ekta, each having one thousand, went on shopping. If they bought the following items, then which girl has maximum amount left after the shopping? These are expenditure of Alia. So Alia spent four hundred ninety nine plus two hundred fifty plus two hundred fifty, which is equal to nine hundred ninety nine rupees. Expenditure of Palak. This is three hundred seventy five plus one hundred twenty five plus four hundred twenty, which is equal to nine hundred twenty rupees. This is amount spent by Dibya sixty five plus five hundred ten plus three hundred thirty three. Equal to nine hundred eight rupees. Ekta three hundred eighty five plus one hundred ninety nine plus three hundred twenty eight equal to nine hundred twelve rupees. Dipya spent less money among four, so she saved more money among all four. Also subtracting from one thousand, we get one thousand minus nine hundred ninety nine equal to one. Subtracting nine hundred twenty from one thousand equal to eighty. Similarly, subtracting this from one thousand, we get ninety two, and this is eighty eight. No need to subtract some for saving time. The various expenditure is less, hence her saving is more. Option B is correct. Divya. I hope all of you like this video. To get such type of videos, please like and subscribe my channel.